You know, the game banging lifestyle is not a healthy lifestyle. And, you know, I just want to thank God that he brought me out of that 40 years ago on December 5th, 1984. It'd be almost 40 years. And I was just sitting here reflecting and thinking that if I was still out there, I would probably be dead from you know, some type of gun violence or I would be in prison for the rest of my life or just getting out from doing a long, long, long stretch. And not only that, but probably would be living an unhealthy lifestyle, being out there in those streets, you know, um, drinking and smoking, doing dope, uh, running the streets day and night, and all those type of things, smoking, all those type of things are unhealthy. You know, um, I don't do none of those things, but if I don't eat right for a day, and if I eat some sweets or different things like that, or uh, and then wake up the next morning, I'm feeling kind of wheezy and a little, you know, sick for, you know, not sick, sick, but feeling different, you know, so I can imagine those that are, are on drugs and drinking and running the streets, taking whatever they're taking and doing whatever they're doing. I can imagine how year in, year out is taking a toll on your body and on your health and so on. So I really thank God for bringing me out and uh, helping me uh, at the age of 61. You know, I'm not on any medications just had my year physical my blood pressure uh, is good uh, cholesterol is good my heart they checked it out is good um, my all you know I'm free of, of any cancer so far so good so I want to thank God for that you know and just thinking that if I was in those streets living that unhealthy lifestyle I would not be at 61 living healthy you know um, never have to have any surgeries since the time that I um, I um, uh, been in church, never had a, a stay overnight in the hospital other than going to the hospital at different places when I cut myself or uh, going for physical or something like that might injure myself somewhere, but never because I'm sick and have to spend a night in the hospital, not on any canes, any wheelchairs or anything. God has been good to me. And that's what I want to share with you all today is that the healthiest lifestyle to live is to live in God because he will keep you clean as far as with your diet and with your lifestyle and the things that he calls for us to do uh, to live a clean, healthy life, stress-free, living in peace, having joy. You know, the scripture says that the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating, drinking, but righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost, so the Holy Spirit. So most definitely thanking God um, for the healthy lifestyle that he has uh, given me and so on and and there's a lot that i can share with you in regards to how to live a healthy lifestyle because i arrived i'm there when i don't want to say i arrived because um you know none of us are perfect but from the perspective of where god brought me from where i am now and in comparison uh, to where i could be god has brought me from a mighty long way he taught me a lot of things of how to take care of myself and things like that and so that's why i want to take you on this journey with me and and show you how at a young age you can do take a lot of preventive measures to prevent yourself from when you get 61 from being sickly and can't walk on a cane on a, in a wheelchair or sick and have to take live off of medication if you don't take the medication you would die all right so i want to share some of those things which can take you on that journey but what i need you to do is to like share and subscribe right um i'm at around 780 uh, subscribers it's been real challenging for me because i'm not doing all that crazy and stupid stuff that people do to get uh likes and and and, and su subscriptions and so on but subscribe so i can get those thousand um subscribers and then i can really take you live on some of the journeys uh, that god has taken me on and how to live a healthy lifestyle you know and and i've been married um going on what 38 years July 5th would be 38 years one wife you know what I'm saying and God has been good to me all these years and so on living a healthy lifestyle all right hope to share some of this with you very soon God bless you